everybody, welcome to my channel, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you my stamping learning. Uh, I do watch so many videos with stamps, with stamping and sometimes I do feel overwhelmed because my stamping is not perfect and I'm still not strong with stamping and when I watch those videos where all kind of beautiful backgrounds are happening uh, I feel I want to do that, but uh, mostly I do end up with kind of like mess, which is terrible to look at and it's mostly ending in, in the bin. So today I would like to show you what I found this year, this Christmas. Uh, I do have here collection of stamps I, I shared with my ambassadors and we are using them. And I do have one collection which I really like. I think if you do have the good collection of stamps, then you can create magics really easy. I do have this collection, these, uh, I, now I'm talking about Christmas, but I do believe it can be applied to any theme. If you do have good stamps, which suits you, which suits to your uh, feelings, to your style, and you feel comfortable with them, like I do have with these, uh, they do have beautiful style, beautiful images, they do have perfect fonts, which I really like. And I found that I can mix these with any kind of shapes if I don't do it over like too much. So uh, I do have here a few things I would like to stamp and try if they will end up nice way, which I will like. For today, I'm going to be using just two colors because that's where I do feel comfortable. And I'm gonna be starting just with this collection. This is, by the way, Woodware Collection uh, Santa Post Elements. So grab your stamps and we're gonna try to do some magics. I do have here these two tags and I'm gonna start with the background. This, um, it does have so many beautiful words. This has all kind of Christmas or winter activities in the text, really beautiful, nice fonts, that's why I feel comfortable with this stem. So I'm gonna start with probably this one, although I will start with that circle and I will do a very simple tag but I do believe it will be something what I will like, what I will enjoy and what will don't be too much for me, so I'm gonna stamp just this with red. I'm gonna stamp inside my little tree because I like the tree from this stamp collection the most. It does have nice shape, it does stamp really beautifully. If I will see that, right. Just uh, please forgive my stamping <laughs> or my too inky too. That's what I am saying. I do have quite heavy hand with my stamps. I need to learn how to be softer and how do not put too much pressure on myself or on my stamps. I'm gonna place this one here. And now that background stamp. And here I'm gonna do a little magic for myself. I'm gonna create a template from this. I'm gonna place my little template over my stamp. Grab my background stamp. And go over it. And I do have my tag done. Uh, if I will want to add something here, that will be probably just uh, kind of like shades and uh, splatters because I like that vintage style. So I'm going to be using probably these and some earthy, earthy tones because I will do this one in the vintage style. So I will go very easy with some kind of splatters and shapes or shades, not shapes, shades in the corners to make it look vintage, but that will be all. And I will call this like finished tack. And 
and maybe if I will really want to go like too Christmassy, I will add a little bit of glitter to that Christmas tree. But I don't have glitter ready to, <laughs> to use yet, so I'm gonna call this one like my totally finished project. My stamping, easy stamping, where I feel comfortable with it. I didn't overload it, so uh, I will feel comfortable to use this one. Here I do have this little tag. So first I'm gonna stamp 25th. Right here. Yeah, like this. I'm gonna try my little snowflake and that background stamp. I'm gonna go over. And around that snowflake. Now I'm gonna place it here. I'm holding it nearly in the air and I'm gonna press here. Yeah, I do have there something. <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> it's simple stamping with pressing my stamp just around. I do have this. So I'm gonna keep it this way for now. Maybe I will decide to go with a little bit something more. I do have here envelopes. And depend on the size, I will use different stamps. So here on this one, I will create kind of like Santa post envelope. And I will go again very easy way. Yeah. So probably here. And post. And I will create postmarks. And I think I'm done with my Christmas little envelope. Just very simple stamping. And again, if I will, add, if I will want to add something a little bit more, I will go with those earthy colors, those earthy tones. So I would use seal brown. And again, I would use just uh, drops and shadows and distressing. Something like that. I will don't go too much. And it's just because, you know, I'm still learning stamping and if I will overdo it, that will um, make me do not want to stamp again. Do not learn to stamp again. So I need to go easy on myself. 
do not do um, complicated or you know complicated designs which I really love to watch <laughs> how they do became but <laughs> I don't like to make them just because I know uh, I'm not there yet and maybe a little bit distressing on the edges and I do have my a little bit grungy Santa envelope now I do have here this DL envelope and I would like to make this envelope fully decorated just with space for writing address for that I need to create again some kind of template I do have here piece of paper three and three quarter by two and three quarter and I think that will be big enough for writing address I'm gonna take just paper tape fold it all together stick it in the middle like this this is less sticky than my double-sided tape so that's why I'm using this one my double-sided tape is sticking too much and I will don't be able to peel it off after stamping so I'm gonna place it here just like template and now I can stamp all over it so I'm gonna take my stamps and do some stamping and I would actually use again these but mix them with some different uh, different patterns so I'm thinking I'm gonna use this this is collection from creative expression and it's called festive flurry celebration it's really beautiful stamps i'm gonna use this oh the other way and just stamp around here and there Like this now I think from this collection this is festive traditions Christmas past I'm gonna be using Bell which one this one I guess it does have two sizes of Bell one bigger one smaller And now this collection, I'm gonna add other elements to this one. So I would like to have the, the circles. One will be here. One will be there. One here. And that's all. Now these ways. Oh. One here. Oh, where I'm going. One here. Okay, and probably number because I like numbers. Okay. 
gonna go again with that Santa post oh no that will be too much large writing now I need to go with this one but here I'm gonna be using only the, the <coughs> earthy color and I will hope for the best that it will be visible And I will actually have there something. Which way it goes? Ah, this way. Good. So we will try. One little bit more. Okay. I think those earthy tones are sitting nicely in there. I'm gonna uh, do same, uh, I mean with the same color, I'm gonna do stamping with these uh, textures. Now, big reveal. I'm gonna peel it off. <laughs> and I do have my envelope with Christmas theme and very soft one done. I can put address here, put here stamp, I mean postage stamp and send it. Look at that. Doesn't look bad. Here maybe I can do same. Uh, same stamping or I can you know I can just keep it this way or distress it even more to match it all together I would probably distress it more this white space here kind of match it all together but and it's easy stamping I didn't overloaded it and here I do have this large envelope I'm gonna be using here uh, these beautiful large uh, words uh, this is also creative expression clear stamps uh, festive flurry sentiments and they are gorgeous so I'm gonna create stamping around these words I'm gonna use Christmas of course so how about put Christmas right here yeah I think this way right like there and I'm gonna do Christmas with the red ink Probably I do have enough of red ink in there. We will see. 
Was there black ink as well? Very beautiful color now. I'm gonna use this. This Oh, I do have ink everywhere. Peace. And drawing on this side. And you can flip it over and go somewhere <clears throat> in the same distance with other stamps. So I'm gonna be using greetings here. And again, I'm gonna go with red ink. Yeah, probably somewhere. Oh, probably somewhere here, I would say. And we do have holidays. And holidays I'm gonna place around here. Yeah. Nice stamping that holidays. That went good. <laughs> that went really well. Okay, we do have base. Now I'm gonna take these small ones and add their little elements. Hmm. I'm gonna add the benefit here. Do not open somewhere here. Yeah. And maybe here as well, actually. Oh, my acetate.
making it in the back I'm gonna add just this one And now I can choose the ink I want to use. I think I'm going to try with black. I'm not sure how that will go. But I will try with black ink. And do same like I did here. And go around this. So this would be all stamping with darker colors. Then I will take again some, uh, you know, these textures and I will stamp all around to create some textures, splatters. I'm gonna try this one and I will see how that will go. And I think that will be all what I, what I would do, <laughs> probably. Maybe I will do some shading or maybe I will kind of like make a mark that it is uh, like a ribbon. But uh, with easy stamping, where I will use just, you know, few colors, you can create beautiful things for your Christmas and for your cards. Uh, and this is especially for people who are like me and they don't feel comfortable yet with their stamping and they need something easy to do so I believe just two colors or three here in this case that I do have that seal brown as well so with just few colors you can create beautiful beautiful images with your stamp so uh, go to have a look into your uh, stamp uh, stamping stuff grab your stamps and I hope you will enjoy your craft. Thank you so much for visiting me today and spending your time with me. I hope you found some inspiration. Thank you so much for all your support to my channel. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful weekend. Uh, enjoy third Advent Sunday and I will see you soon. Bye.